architecture in the West is very much directed at the idea of product. We see a lot of flashy, glossy images of, of beautiful buildings, uh, and the process is not something that's often highlighted here. Uh, I think that in the context where we work developing low-income nations, uh, there's a fantastic opportunity to benefit people to affect social change through that process of design and construction. Uh, and so I think that it's an opportunity for people to see uh, how that process can work um, and possibly then how that can relate to how we build in this country. The exhibition centres around uh, a film that was created by uh, Johnny Campbell who has started off as a volunteer on one of our projects in Zambia and has now become uh, our, our filmmaker essentially. Um, and it really just explores the, f the four or five key themes of the exhibition which are inspire, educate, equality, enterprise and then finally evaluate. And uh, from that different social narratives are drawn out through the exhibition. Um, but it all sort of revolves around the central cinema. About this time last year, we started a project with Centre Rome's Children's Centre, a uh, charity run from Scotland as well. Uh, they run a children's home in Nakuru, Kenya. Um, they were living in unsubstantial facilities that weren't catering for their needs. And so we, as Orchid Studio, partner with them to deliver a new set of facilities. The new building was built from earth bags. This was a, uh, pretty much an entirely new technology to Kenya. They are uh, polyurethane sacks, which are then filled with compressed earth. They are then further compressed and you build walls similar to how you would lay a brick wall. One of the main advantages of this process is that we were able to get a, a huge range of people from the local community involved. We were able to get uh, women for the uh, from the local community, a real first for construction sites in Kenya but also a huge number of people who weren't trained in construction and hadn't had any experience of it, whether they just be local kids from, um, from nearby the site or, um, or trained masons who'd never worked with a technology like this. We are, we've very much sort of just gone out and, and done stuff. We've built from uh, a very young age. I founded the organisation when I was 19 uh, and we've never really had that chance to stop and think uh, and I think that this has provided that platform. Uh, with the lighthouse as our key sort of supporter. Mm -hmm.